burning CDs or DVDs. By default, Windows XP N7 come with a plugin for burning CDs or DVDs. These days, all computers have at least a DVD burner. Make sure you have a DVD burner. If not, you can always purchase one. So, anytime you insert a blank DVD or a CD, you're gonna get prompted with this pop-up right here. Burn files to disk. You can either click here and open the DVD or the CD and here is gonna ask you how do you wanna burn this disk like a USB flash drive or you wanna read it with a CD or DVD player. What this means in the case of the USB flash drive it means that you can add and delete files of the CD or DVD. However, if your CD or DVD it's only a writable CD or DVD, then whatever you write on it cannot be deleted. You can only continue adding to it until you fill it up and then you can close the session and you will have your files. But if the CD or DVD is rewritable, the data can be erased, but it's not recommended. So you should always choose you should always choose to burn the files to be read with a CD or DVD player. So without further ado, we're going to say test files in the title, click next, and a window will open. So now we're just going to drag and drop the my documents files into the DVD drive. I'm going to skip this one and as you can see they have this little arrow pointing down which means that they're about to be written on the DVD or burned on the DVD. So we're going to go to file, burn to disk, we're going to select the recording speed. It's indicated that you select the lower speed but uh, you can go with a higher speed but the lower speed means that the engraving on the actual material it's deeper therefore scratches or um, high temperature cannot it will take a longer exposure to damage your DVD or CD so now the files are being burned to the DVD now after the files are being successfully burned you have the option to burn another DVD by checking this mark here and selecting next however we don't have to burn another DVD so we're just gonna click finish a different method for burning the files to the DVD, you just select them all. You select all the files by wrapping a window around them. Then right click on any of the selected items and select send to DVD RW drive. Now we have all the files here ready to be burned. And we just go to file and burn to disk. That's all you have to do. If you want to format or wipe out a CD or DVD rewritable, you just right click on the device and select format. Here it gives you the capacity and all this information, but you make sure you select quick format and click start. Confirm and click OK. Format complete. Burning audio CDs with iTunes. For example, I have three files here three audio files that I want to burn on the CD. I'm just going to select them all, drag them and drop them into iTunes. So we're going to make a playlist. That's going to be our first CD. Call it first CD. Select all the files that you want to burn either by pressing and holding control and selecting through the files or if you want to select a sequence, hold shift, hold shift and select the first and last item in the sequence. Now drag and drop the files on the playlist. Now select the playlist. Now all we have to do is just right click on the playlist and select burn playlist to disk. However, in the book this method is described differently. But in the meantime iTunes has changed the way it burns CDs. This is just a design issue that improves over time. Select burn files to disk and now we have the option to select audio CD, you can select the gap in between songs, you use a sound check to make sure that the songs are leveled out, include CD text, that's good to have if you put the CD in your car stereo, 
it will display the song names or use an mp3 cd if you want to make an mp3 cd it's good to select it through a burner and not just dump the mp3 files on the cd and expect it to work some of the old uh, stereos especially car stereos might not be able to read it unless you make it an mp3 cd because the process adds a few files which help the readers or the car stereos to discover the files otherwise it won't work for some of them so we're going to select audio cd and we're just going to burn it burning an audio cd with real player this is the default start for real player so we're going to select the burn tab and now we're going to drag and drop the files so we have a playlist so we're going to select the cd type we're going to select audio we already have the tracks we're going to edit the options here write cd text this is useful for the player to display the name of the track or and or the artist add this two second gap or do not add the gap I think it saves some space if you do not add the gap and cross fade tracks into another by five seconds you can edit this we're going to leave these as they are we're going to change the write speed to 8x should be enough it will be it will take like eight minutes to make a cd click ok and then click burn your cd you can see the tracks are pending and now they're being written so let's say that you like to listen to training videos while you drive your car so you have found some cool training videos on youtube and you want to take the audio part of them put them on an audio cd and put them in your car and just listen to them so you go to youtube you find your videos and then you hover the mouse over the video as it going so you see I'm not hovering then I'm hovering you click the download this video and real player is gonna download all the videos that you want for you you wait for them to download and then you can burn them as audio CDs we're gonna wait for this to finish we're gonna take a few more then we're gonna make a demonstration of how to burn YouTube videos into audio CDs the file has finished downloading and it is located in C users user profile videos real player downloads but you can also find the file in the library you can right click on it locate it on a disk but let's say you want to burn all these files which are YouTube files on a disk you just select burn to from your library so you have to be in a library tab like burn to audio CD, video CD, super video CD, and DVD. But these options they're only available in the full version of Real Player, so you'll have to purchase the full version. However, we want to burn an audio CD from the files available. It's adding the files and it's automatically converting videos to audio for you to burn to the CD. So you just click on burn the CD and then confirm the settings and you should be set I hope this was easy to understand and I would like to thank you for viewing